Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. That's two words. The Renaissance and the Periodization, that's two words. Periodization is one word. <sighs> Weird start. Fatty food makes you fat. Is that true or is it bullshit? Let's find out. So, four points to consider. First, fats do have a lot of calories. Nine calories per gram versus four for carbs and four for proteins. That's not that great. And also, fat is tasty as fuck. And thus, it's pretty easy to eat in large quantities. I only have one thought experiment for you. You're hungry and you have jar o crunchy peanut butter in front of you and a spoon. And it is just a room with a very comfortable chair, some sort of fluid for you to drink, crunchy peanut butter with a spoon in there, and a trillion cameras pointed at you. Some Truman Show type of shit. What are you going to do? Uh, yeah. Boom. Gone. Five minutes. I can take a whole jar of peanut butter down. No problem. It's all too easy. You guys ever try cashew butter? Don't. If you haven't tried it yet, don't. This is like me pulling, pushing crack cocaine on you. Just, just zig the other way. Zig when you should have zagged. Don't get into it. You'll be an addict. You'll be on the streets stabbing motherfuckers for cashew nut butter. It's incredible. So valid points. Valid points. Definitely something for consideration. However, it all comes down to calorie balance. And if you keep your protein stable, lower your carb intake, you can raise your fat intake pretty high, even to numbers per day, like 200 grams per day, which look fucking scary on a macro calculator. But you will not gain fat. You will not gain weight. You will not become unhealthy. You'll be as healthy as ever, eating tons of fats, as long as you compensate by lowering your carbs and maybe even your proteins so that the calories are to what your body needs and no more. So as long as you're not accidentally in a calorie surplus, fats are not inherently obesogenic, as is the technical term. They're not inherently more prone to make you fatter. They're just not. And it doesn't matter what the fuck the 1980s food pyramid said. You guys remember that shit? The food guide pyramid had uh, fats and sweets eat sparingly. That's where I learned that term at the top, which is probably true, fats, oils, and sweets. But at the bottom, it had like rice and potatoes and pasta. And then the fruits were like way at the top. Apparently, you didn't need that many and vegetables were somewhere in there. So, and, and it said, you know, like fats are very, very bad. And the thing is, is that if you look at the pyramid, you can expand how many fats you eat if you just contract how many you know, pounds of grains you eat that day. It's all about balance. Fat isn't inherently fattening, just like none of the other macronutrients are inherently fattening. Another situation that comes up is a lot of times people say like, oh, well, you know, they're eating a uh, fitness, healthy lifestyle. And they say, well, I, I can't have salmon. Uh, salmon's too fatty. And uh, okay, is that because it doesn't fit your macros for the day? Total respect if you're doing a low-fat diet. But if it does fit your macros for the day, especially if you slide your carbs down and your fats up, um, then it's fine. But I think a lot of people, when they look at salmon and they're like 32 grams of protein, sweet, 16 grams of fat, whoa, that's crazy. Well, there's nothing crazy about it. If you can lower your carbs and or protein to make room for that fat, it's super healthy and it's not going to make you any fatter. It's just not. It's all about the calorie surplus. And if your diet isn't in a net surplus, there's no way any amount of fat that doesn't generate that net surplus will make you fat. It's just not possible. So if you account for the calories, fatty food doesn't make you any other, uh, any fatter than any other food in almost every case. And thinking that fatty food must make you fat and then avoiding it on purpose is bullshit. What do you guys think of my Arnold impression? Uh, I'll give you some options. Amazing. I, is that Arnold himself? Uh, okay. Good enough for a laugh. Bro, can you just like not? Can you just like stop? Uh? Yeah, that's one. That's one category. And dude, seriously, like don't. This is ruining your channel and your reputation and like your bullshit. Starting to believe your own fucking farts don't smell comedian shit. Don't fucking make any impression, just give us the science. Shut up and science, Dr. Mike. Vote below. See you next time.